Good evening, Guardians. Fox of Fourth Pause here, bringing some potentially very exciting Destiny 1 news. Before we crack on with it, let me just say that this did come from a leak on Reddit. So, take it as you will. Take it with a pinch of salt or the God's honest truth. Completely up to you. But there are rumours flying around right now that on Friday, September the 1st at 10am, Destiny 1 will be getting its own prologue. It's going to be a small patch, pretty inconspicuous, contain no patches or tweaks for environment, economy and that kind of thing, balancing, um, but will be free of cost and accessible to everyone who currently owns the most up-to-date version of the game. Uh, the content schedule as it currently stands uh, is as follows, there's going to be one epilogue video for Destiny 1 at around the 4 minutes and 9 seconds. One prologue video for Destiny 2 at around 3 minutes and 42 seconds. A live action trailer for Destiny 2 at 1 minute and 49 seconds and two story missions that are going to be leading into the beginning events of Destiny 2. Uh, mission 1 is currently slated to be called Imminent Invasion, where you race across a soon to be ravaged Cosmodrome after you've learned about an incoming threat. That's going to then lead into the second prologue mission, Guardians Down, where you revive a Fallen Guardian and fight off a fleet of Red Legion on a reconnaissance mission outside of the tower. Now, I've been asking for this kind of thing for, well, since Destiny 2 has been announced and I'm so excited to be able to give Destiny 1 the final farewell that it deserves. Such an exciting time to be playing the game. Now there was a bunch of other information as well within this leak, uh, stuff about sparrows and ghosts that we were supposed to be able to get our hands on, um, and the fact that they were supposed to release all of this information on the last Bungie weekly update. Obviously that never happened, um, and to be honest with you, I haven't put it in this little news update purely because of the fact that Genuinely, I couldn't understand what they, where they were going with it on the post, but I have linked the original post um, just underneath uh, in the information section to the original Reddit post. Uh, there are a bunch of people on there calling it crap, uh, and there's a bunch of people that really want to believe it's true, so take it however you want it. So before I let you go, as you can probably tell, I'm trying out a brand new setup for this channel uh, in front of a face cam to deliver the news to you, as opposed to doing what most content creators do, uh, roll video behind and with voice narration on top. Um, I decided to go down this route because I've got the equipment, I use it mainly for streaming and I feel like it brings a, a more personal, uh, personable edge um, to the way we deliver you know, content news on, uh, on YouTube. So by all means, pop by, check out that Reddit thread, let me know what you think of both my new setup and of that particular um, thread in the comments below. Thank you for popping by and having a watch and I'll catch you in the next one.